a good day, Atlanta. Time now 912. Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt have reached an agreement on their divorce. In a statement, the estranged, the estranged couple says that they'll handle everything in private. So details of the divorce will be kept confidential by using a private judge. It's the first joint comment from the actors on their split since Jolie filed for a divorce at the end of September. And then speaking of divorces, January actually kicks off what's known as divorce season. It's a real thing. And as it turns out, there are several motives that drive the post-holiday divorce rush. Family law attorney John Hedgepath joins me with what's behind this and also what to do if you're thinking that this may be the next step for you. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for being here with Thanks us Thanks for today. having me. You know, not really a holly jolly topic, but something that obviously is impacting a lot of people right now. That's true. It's a reality of, our, of uh, society, unfortunately. But in December, people are brewing. They're uh, having a lot of forced community with their family and in-law interactions and a lot of unusual spending so people will try to get through the holidays and end up coming to see a divorce lawyer in January unfortunately. Wow it makes sense though I mean when you really think about that and the timing of that and I'm sure a lot of couples too are are holding it together for the holidays for the sake of the kids as well. True you don't want the children's last memory of Christmas to be the one where the family splits so. True. It's yeah, when they're coming to you for, you know, they're, they're thinking about this. In January, you, you mentioned that's kind of the, uh, the processing month when you're, when you're considering all of your options here. What are the questions that they're asking you about what they should be doing? Well, nobody really knows. Not many people have gone through multiple divorces, and so they're wanting to find out what the process is, uh, what they should be gathering, what documents they need, because in, in the civil act uh, actions, you must disclose all of your finances, and so they need to know what they need to do. They need to know... Uh, what their prospects are for custody, if that's something they're seeking, uh, whether a spouse is entitled to alimony, uh, what child support is going to be, what the parenting time schedule is going to be. There's a lot of things to consider. So, John, are you saying it's a good idea to start collecting some of these things before, you know, going any further in the process? It is. Usually, uh, any attorney's website will, would have sort of a checklist of what to be thinking about before coming to meet with an attorney. One of the other other uh, factors that that you mentioned could be leading people to this is that they were staying together for tax purposes. They could certainly be doing that with the uh, with staying together for the entire year. You have the benefit of both claiming the children as dependents and you have the mortgage interest deduction, and it makes things a lot cleaner when you can file jointly uh, for one last time. So this is kind of a roller coaster, I guess. January, February being the uh, the main months for this. What does the rest of the year look like, or is this just typically when we just just, just really see it. it it's, it's really hard to peg. It's just an interesting phenomenon that I've seen in January. Uh, there's a study in Market Watch that shows that divorces have, have gone up traditionally 30% uh, at the beginning of every year. I mean, this is international. England has, uh, has seen the same phenomenon. Very, very it interesting. Is. You know, I'm sure there are a lot of people at home, too, going, huh, so I'm not alone and thinking about this. You right. mentioned things kind of brewing, if, if maybe that's the case for someone. What are, the, what are the questions that they need to make sure that they ask when moving forward with this? Well, they need to know uh, the, uh, certainly the qualifications of the attorney. Uh, generally, the attorneys will know each other and, and can work well together. But what they need to know is, is that uh, Georgia is what's called an equitable division state, meaning that assets and liabilities are divided equitably, not necessarily equally. Mm -hmm. So uh, they need to gather up their finances. They need to get their year-end uh, statements for their 401k and their you know, W-2s and K-1s and whatnot, and, and make sure that they have have everything uh, as neatly bundled as they possibly can so that the lawyer can do his job or her job. There you go. So a little bit of homework to do uh, before you move any further when it comes to this. But if you have more information or rather more questions and want more information about this from John Hedgepeth, you can click on the viewer information story under the Good Day section of the Fox 5 Atlanta app. John, thank you so much for coming. Thanks today. for having me. Helpful information for many, I'm sure.